Hello everyone, this, welcome back to Lisa Loves Paper. This is Elise and I'm back with a process video. So when I saw this paper, I had a plan as you could kind of see with that big this and I've cut four rows of those cassette tapes out um, and this white paper is gonna be my background. So my plan is to use this X-Acto knife and to cut them so they make little flaps and I cut all that out so you didn't have to watch me do it. I had tape on those bottom three so that I wouldn't cut them because that's where my title went but you can see I did actually cut a few of them on accident. Um, and now I'm adding tape to the back with this itty bitty skinny double-sided tape. I'm not going to make you watch that entire process because I decided not to put tape on all of the little backing pieces because I thought maybe I would want to tuck things so you can see here. I did leave in the peeling the tape though because if you're like me you love a good tape peel. So enjoy as we teal, peel all of this tape off of the back here before we stick it onto the paper. Um, spoiler, spoiler alert, I did not end up tucking things so I could have just put tape everywhere but you know we live and learn. So I was figuring out the perfect placement for the cassettes before I stuck them down and making sure everything is stuck very well. Now you can see all the little flaps. I did score the tops of them by the way as well. Now here I'm realizing that I can't use that flap because my title's going to go there so let's just go ahead and tape that down so it's not an issue and let's go ahead and glue this down because <laughs> I know exactly where I want it to be so let's just go ahead and get that nailed down. I you see I tend to work from biggest to smallest so I knew I wanted that big element of the cassette tapes on the back and this big title element so that's where I go next to my title and you'll see what this layout's about in a little bit but my title is going to be this was my jam because um, when I first saw this cassette paper I was like man I grew up when cassettes just were phasing out and CDs were phasing in and so it kind of brought me back to that time frame it was also I was of the age where I was starting to get you know interested in music middle late elementary um, early middle school and so what I decided I wanted to do with this and why I cut the flaps was I really wanted to throw in some of my favorite songs from that era and that's where the title came from this was my jam you see me fussing with all the letters here I decided that I wanted to tuck was into that gap in the this and bring my jam underneath that. Um, I won't make you watch me glue it all down once I stop fussing with everything. <laughs> I'm going to glue it all down off camera. And now here are all my album covers. I So this is a layout with no technical photos of like people and stuff but I do have photos of the album covers that are going to go under the flaps. So you can decide if this is a true like no photo layout or not but I'm choosing to think that it is because it's not traditional for me. Um, I also won't make you watch me cut all of these out because it gets a little bit fiddly here because they're tiny and difficult to work with. Um, but you can see where I, what age I grew up. I'm 38, and so I have like Britney Spears in there, Spice Girls, and Sync, Backstreet Boys, Boys to Men. I think I have TLC No Scrubs in there. If you did this layout, what would you include? So that right there is the Space Jam soundtrack because when I was younger, I would use it to make my own like cheerleading songs. I would cut little bits from it. So, um, but all of these have, I, I chose them all for a very specific reason, like you saw in sync or in there and then TLC no scrubs my neighbor had the whole album uh, the TLC album and so that was very iconic I just glued down the Savage Garden album that was my very first CD I ever had in my life um, I believe that I have Ace of Base in here which was the first tape that somebody had given me and I owned and I remember I walked around with my cassette player that there's Ace of Base right there and played that thing over and over and I know every single word. I bet I could still sing every single word for you. <laughs> so my plan is once I can actually write um, better, I will under those flaps write these stories so that you can see that. Um, you can see I got my splint off, do a little happy dance, um, but my wrist is still not quite up to snuff. So I'll wait until my handwriting's better. So now you can see that instead of doing embellishments next, I decided I I needed to add something and so I had this rainbowy strip left over and I've decided to add that to the top and the bottom here um, using more of that skinny tape and I decided to tear it oh you'll see in just a minute sorry bring you back in frame tape 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 so I'm gonna put one at the top and one at the bottom and you can see it doesn't quite stretch all the way across 
doesn't stop me. I figure I'll just put something on the right hand side or I don't mind leaning stuff to the right there. You see, I'm kind of tempted to throw those hearts up there. Um, but here I do tear it to break across the title. I love that. Um, and it does go across the whole bottom. So you'll see here, I'm like, mm, now that that goes across the whole bottom, I'm like, eh, I don't love the top, but I can throw this piece that I tore off on the other end. So I very carefully tear it up. Luckily I hadn't pushed it very hard down so it wasn't too too bad and I move it all the way over and I throw this little cutoff piece on there it's a little bit shorter than the other one but it doesn't matter because you'll see what I do with the heart piece in just a minute I decide to throw that on top now I'm gonna fuss and fuss and fuss because it's really difficult to line it up exactly where you want to cut it when the piece is so skinny that you can't move it unless the flap is up <laughs> so here I'm going to show you what it looks like nice slow-mo I love those rainbow hearts so I don't know why I could have just put it across the whole top, but I did scoot it over and I'm going to regret that, but it'll all turn out in the end. So here I am taping that up on top now. And I do like how that looks as is, but then I decide I'm looking at embellishments again. I'm like, wait, no, this is standing out. So let's add some black and I add some underlining. And I love how this turned out. I'm going nice and slow and I just do a double messy underline. I like the look. I like how it brings the black from the this in there. Now I need it at the top and I'm like, oh no, I left this little weird divot on that side. What am I going to do? So I just outlined it and then decided I'd figure out what to do after I do the other one. I'm like, mm, don't love this. Maybe if I do that, I really don't love that. I was like, okay, let's, could I add that? But then I realized the background for that reason, for some reason on that one was not the same white and it bothered me. So let's cover it up. You can always cover it up, right? Isn't that what Adele always says? You can always cover it up. And so that's what I do with some stickers. And then I just start throwing more of these stickers on so they don't look so plonked on. I have plenty of them on this sticker sheet. And I make three little clusters and I love how they look. Now, how do you feel about mixing metals like this? So we have the gold from Was My Jam and then we have this like holographic. Clearly it doesn't bother me. I threw it on here. They're so different to me that they read differently. To me, it's like two different colors, like a yellow and a bluey purple. Um, but I know some people really don't like mixing them. So let me know what you think about that. So I'm taking a few more stickers, throwing them in here with these albums. I have a feeling that when I do actually go back in and add my journaling for each one that I might decorate these a little bit more, but for now I'm just kind of throwing some stickers in there. Um, now I'm going, this sheet here, when I first started working with this collection, this whole kit, I ended up taking the uh, stickers that I thought would go with each layout I had in mind and sticking them on these pieces of wax paper so that I didn't forget anything. Now I stuck those two cassette tapes on there and you'll see here in a minute, I realize I, they're not standing out enough. So here, I'm going to get some black cardstock and cut them out. And we're almost done with this layout. It was a very, very fast one. I mean, minus the journaling I have yet to do, but it came together really quickly and easily, and in the end, I love how it turned out. So here we go. This just little outline of black really, really helped so much. Just the little things like that. So here I am sticking those on, and we're done. I hope you like it. I'll see you soon. Bye.